His dogs come to town. It's a Pac-12 rivalry as intense as any in the conference. It's the Washington Huskies against the Washington State Cougars. Brock Modem with that first miss, and for the Huskies, they'll be dealing primarily, we think, today against a zone. That's one way to break that zone down. Nice feed inside to end the rebounds. When you look at that first matchup, the Huskies, one of the best in the country, working that offensive glass, and they had total domination of the Cougars in that first game in overall rebounding. Turnover, here goes Roden on the breakaway the finish. Ken Bone's team's going to have to do a very good job on the boards today. Well, they really There you go. The Huskies are out on the break again. They're going to look to go up tempo, and right now it's working. So the Huskies dominating the boards is making a big down and put one in the basket. Huskies jumped out to an 0-6 lead. Hadn't scored until that. That was the seventh turnover, by the way, against Washington State in the corner. Knocking it down for the triple. C.J. Wilcox for the Huskies. A three-point shot here would tie it. And Wilcox will try to do just that and does. C.J. Yeah. Wilcox, and if he heats up, Whoa. 6'10", seeing a sophomore from Rialto, California. Darnell Gant guarded by Shelton. Open and again the triple CJ Wilcox off the bench. Well, he plays within his uh, ability. He doesn't try to do things he can't do, and, and he waits and he gets good looks. And in and out on the three-point try, but another opportunity for the dogs. Swinging it again, Wilcox. C.J. Wilcox on fire with 12. Looks about three times larger than it is. And that's the case right now for Wilcox. Lab blocked by Enjai. Now that's and where the foul. Three, four in a row. <laughs> if he's made four shots, you got to know that this guy is effective. So let's cover that wing. The zone is gone. The Cougs are man-to-man -man inside Enjai with a layup. Well, I think the man to man The Cougars have been gang-tackling the... The, the boards, and that's why they've been getting a lot of rebounds. Right there, mistake. Now, that's when they're going to take advantage of it. And, hey, great play by Wilcox. I mean, he got him a little bit, but to get back and get up and get an opportunity to block that shot, that's just a great athletic play by Wilcox. Devontae Lacey was hoping to make a statement on that play. Of course, he already has the dislocated pinky, and Wilcox with a 19 up on those inbound plays. Uh, especially that inbounds play, because that's the second time they've ran it, or uh, the third time, and they've been very successful with it. Oh, 10 points now. Roden puts a shoulder down, goes hard to the glass, no good. Lays it up, and one, Tony Roden, and there's nobody that I've seen, Lenny, this season in college basketball that does that any better than Tony Roden, and that's follow the miss in the paint, get another shot off, and if not get it in, head to the line. Well, you know, he does it very well. He's got great hops. Uh, he watches, he sees, he goes after. Kemp Jr. with a rebound to Gaddy. Ahead to Roden. And foul by Moore. Good foul by Reggie Moore. Make it. Tony Roden, one of five finalists for the Wayman Tisdale Award that goes to the nation's top freshman player. Austin, Safari, and Jenkins checking in for the first time for the Huskies. A point advantage at the line for Washington State. Safari and Jenkins coming over from the Husky football team. An outstanding tight end for Steve Sarkeesian. Well, this is an area they need to capitalize on. Roten now makes a two. About a seven-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Like they'll try to isolate Roden on Ladd. The clock at seven. Shot clock. Crossover by Roden. Inside goes Glass and knocks it down. Reggie Moore, the top assist man in the conference. That's his second in this game. He averages 5.6. Roden at the line, two for three today. 
and his free throw looks good. I mean, I, it looks like he's been working on it, and I think he has to yeah. because he can make free throws, and he's a guy that can get to the basket, so he's going to be on the line a lot. Freshman out of Garfield High School in Seattle. Roden technical initially, so maybe they talked about it and okay. adjusted things. Right, right here, you see Moore's going to walk. He knows that Safarian's not going to get out of the way. And really, it's not that much, okay? Huskies, which is free throw shooting. But the Cougars, they've stepped up and they made big free throws. I'm jinxing them right now. And now Moore, <laughs> as a result of the call against Safarian Jenkins at the moment. You did. <laughs> Bro. Inside, he'll head to the line. The Huskies just four points in this second half. 32, and take a look at that. The Huskies in a drought offensively. Their last field goal nearly eight minutes ago at the 1942 mark. Well, I'll tell you, everything started, Tom, because two things. When Ross got in foul trouble in the first half, you know, with three foul, he had to sit down. The Huskies offense changed a little bit. But also, what it did was it allowed Capers to go out and, pay, and play C.J. Wilcox. And now that kind of took his game away a little bit. So now everything is desperation. You come back and you want to get it all back at once, and you can't. And with this deficit, every trip to the free throw line critical for the Huskies. Area passing of the Cougars big man has been outstanding. Wilcox back. counters with a lay-in. That's a great backdoor play there. And for Colorado State to step up big. Well, the Cougars started off so well at the line that they made just two of their last 10. Gaddy inside foul, Hill head of the line. Lace for him to do it a little bit more because usually he makes good decisions. Abdul Gaddy, the junior point guard out of Bellarmine Prep in Tacoma, shoots 69% at the line. Shelton checking in for the Cougars. It'll be Abe Lodwick checking out. Enjai's return to the Huskies. So on the court along with Gaddy, Gant, Ross, and Roten. Washington State lineup. Lacey, Moore, Shelton, Ladd, and Motor. Right now, they got to finish this game. Got to finish this game strong. There's nine minutes left in this game. Plenty of time if the Huskies get on a run. Down by nine with the ball. Lob inside. Ross puts it down. Beautiful pass by Gaddy. Yeah, uh, give, give credit to Coach Roma. He set that play up out of a timeout. First two points for Ross. Moore over Enjai, no good. This could be a momentum switch right here for the Huskies. Roden inside. And one. Foul on Brock Modem. And Roden to the line looking for a three-point play. And just like that, well, the Huskies have the momentum. It's like I said, you know, the Huskies got plenty of time. There's the lob to the basket. They get down court now right here again. They get the ball. They come out and they're in transition offense. Nice play by Roten. He scores and now he's at the line for an opportunity to make it three to make a three point play and only put the Huskies down by four. Seven of eight at the line for Tony Zenjai. Huskies playing with some swagger now on the offensive end. Inside, Enjai, and one! Aziz Enjai pulling the Huskies within two. Well, I'll tell you, Tom, I, you know, taking Capers out of the game, I know you got to give him some rest, but I think it's affected the Cougars. I think that they miss him being out there on the floor. DJ Shelton checks out. Abe Lodwick returns. Nice play inside by Aziz Enjai. Three points for Enjai. Double check that. Enjai, three fouls on Shelton. Six points. Six points for Aziz Enjai. Looking to complete the three point play. Not a good free throw shooter, but every. Well, that's a big free throw right now, and he needs to knock this down. And I'll tell you, that, that'll give great momentum to the Huskies. To connect. Wow, if the Cougars do not win this game, the first step that's going to jump out to Ken Bone will be. Free throws, no question about it. 
they had great opportunities. They've gotten to that line, but they have not been able to capitalize. Roden, a little bit of a double team, down low, goes up strong, offensive rebound. He does that so well, Pops. Roden gets the steal. Roden inside. Oh, the follow by Gant, but a foul called earlier. Quite a while. One steal, one block, six rebounds. Total for Capers inside. Gaddy and one. The foul on Shelton. That, that is a great offensive play right there, set up by the coach. They, they set a high screen. And as Gaddy comes down with some momentum, you know he goes off the screen, and now he makes a great move to the basket. He finishes as well as anybody at Washington State. I'll tell you, both teams have suffered at the foul line, and if this game comes down to the end where they need a free throw, it could be overtime. Getty, whoa, nice spin move, but bailed out on the foul call as at the tournament. Face the Bruins again. Getty breaks the tie. Huskies up by one. Abdul Getty, three for four at the line. Both teams in the double bonus. The Huskies with three timeouts remaining. The Cougars with two, and the Huskies. Ball numbers for the Huskies. Gaddy Lane, the assist to Roten, and the Huskies up by two. On the season, nearly 74%. And again, the Cougars have really struggled at the line here in the second half. And so it goes. Well, I'm glad you mentioned. It's a pick from Simmons. Isolated on Ladd. And that's a blocking foul on Lodwick. Huge call right there. It goes in favor of the Huskies. So best case scenario right now for Lorenzo Romar. Hit this, take the two-point lead, and then do a job defending the three-point line. Two-point lead for the Huskies. 21 in the game for Roten. Ken Bone will time it. Tough situation to come into for the first time. Moore. Simon off the bench looking for three. No. Rebound inside by Wilcox. DJ Wilcox, second best free throw shooter in the Pac-12. With a chance to ice it for the Huskies as they go up three. If they get it done today, it would be a stretch not seen before in program history. And that guy has done a great job leading this program, Lorenzo Romar. Wilcox makes it a four-point advantage. So the Cougars need to move quickly. Moore, Lacey, Simon, back rims. And is that it? That is it. And the Huskies rally from 13 down in the second half and defeat Washington State sweeping the sim, uh, season series in a very similar fashion. Both come from behind victories, getting it done here today, 59 to 55.